home for long form and proud comedy. Uh, we do uh, unscripted works here at the Torch Theater, and it is 8.30 uh, Saturday night, which means it is time for the neighborhood! Yay! invite a friend of the community, somebody who's got a pulse on the culture and arts in town, uh, to tell real life uh, stories here for you, and then we use those stories to inspire our uh, the work that we do on stage. So today we have a really good friend of ours, somebody who uh, is a, uh, around the torch often. Uh, he is a stand-up comic in town, uh, also an improviser here, uh, which we can tell you more on how to find him here later. Uh, please welcome to the stage, Anthony Desimito! So, um, I just need uh, one word suggestion to get the gears going uh, from anyone. Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> is that, is that, is it what, is there one back there? Is that what you, yeah. <laughs> croissant. Um, I, uh, I can't eat croissants uh, because I'm gluten free. So. I'm not one of those that decided to become gluten free. I had to actually get tested um, and poop into a little tube. <laughs> <laughs> and I and, uh, found out that I had celiac disease, so that sucks. And uh, I, I was supposed to get a colonoscopy, uh, but uh, I, I, just, I decided not to because it was too expensive. But. Um, <laughs> I found out that I was gluten free in 2009, so it's been about uh, four years now that I haven't uh, eaten any pizza. At this point, it just I look at pizza and I look at bread, and it looks like plastic to me. Like I just <laughs> so people people always say to me like like when they find out that I'm gluten free, they they say to me like, oh my god, how do you live? Like they they think that like. I, I, my life is over. They're just like, I would die if I was you. I would die if I had a beer. If I had a beer, I would just fucking, like, kill myself. And so, uh, it's okay. I always think, like, I, I always get nervous when, like, I'm on a date because, um, like, I don't want him to rule me out because he would have to cook gluten free for the rest of his life. So I kind of tiptoe around it, you know? <laughs> like I won't let him know until like two weeks in when maybe he's made a decision as to whether or not he should date me. But um, yeah, okay, so I think that's a good start for me. <laughs> There's a birthday party this weekend. Honey, it's just, this is the way the, the cookie crumbles. <laughs> yeah. Well, that cookie is probably made with dairy. No, <laughs> so, like, there are a lot of things that are made with dairy that you're not going to be able to have. You won't be able to have cake, you won't be able to have the ice cream. Uh, most likely, you won't be able to play any games. Because, <laughs> you know, all the games are surrounded around blowing bubbles in a milk cup. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That really sucks. Stevie's mom is a baker. She's gonna have an amazing cake. Oh my god, that cake's gonna have so much milk in it. <laughs> <laughs> Cream and butter and all of Why those things. Why did you curse me with things? your bad genes, mom? Hey, do not blame me. I have no control over it, okay? It's biology you need to blame. You, you go ahead and curse the biology gods all you want, Eli. <laughs> I'm going to go into Pastor Ted and tell him that exact thing, that I want to... Curse the biology The biology gods. Yeah, no, because he's all about there's only one god, and it's the god, and I don't want... But you just said that there's biology gods. Well, it was just... It was just... It was just You're either lying funny. to me, or there's a truth that needs to be uncovered. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take over the bakery. You can't take over the bakery? <laughs> Who's going to take over the bakery when Eli's gone? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just found out that I can't be around anything baked. 
Ever. <laughs> You're around big things right now! I know. Look everywhere, every I... corner! Big things! <laughs> I understand. I baked this! Well, no, it's this lantern. It's just a lantern. <laughs> okay, you can pay the bill as well. That's a different... <laughs> Don't get started on your fancy electricity! Okay. <laughs> Who's gonna... You know, if you took over the bakery, you could light it anywhere you chose! I just can't be a baker. I can't touch flour. I can't smell certain things. I can't. I. You can't smell certain things. <laughs> Are you smelling this room right now? That Eli filled with cakes and muffins. <laughs> you really need to stop for any of your stuff in the third person. Oh, you don't tell me how to do things. All right. <laughs> this is my bakery, and someone takes it over. Now, if you take the bakery over, Eli will. Stop for bringing himself in the door. Don't tell Eli how to <laughs> Now who's gonna run this bakery? I I, I wish I could help you out. I just I really You've been in this bakery since you were a wee boy, and now you tell me you can't be around bread. <coughs> it was a shark to me too. I, I Oh Papa Shark! I just realized I can't swim! <laughs> Just this moment, because that's on the 2020, that's what's cool to be allergic to this <laughs> week. Okay, I'll come back when you're not behaving like this. I'll come down. <laughs> Who's gonna take over? <laughs> Dr. Harrison, um, appreciate you cleaning my cheek last week and everything. Uh, I went on, uh, I was talking to some other friends, and I don't understand why you had me poop in a cup. <laughs> Are you seriously going to come into my what? office and ask me that question? I just, I, I thought it was weird at the time, but you're the doctor, you're the professional. Yeah. Well, I have to see what, you know, how your enamel is peeling off. But that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it comes out of your butthole. I want you to eat a piece of turkey, grind down your teeth, stuff falls off. I have to examine it post haste when it comes out. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I'm going to strengthen your teeth next time. I went to webdentistry.com and oh, was, sure. that nuts guy answers at webdentistry. Well, there was nothing that involved below the waist. That's <laughs> because they don't really have the right technology. I went to Dr. Thomas just for a second of all oh, that asshole. <laughs> and I don't even mean that in a good way. Like, no, I, mean, I read one to the doctor. I tested your shit! I know that. And please, you don't need to yell at me, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, I just get emotional about uh, teeth cleaning. I understand. Yes, you do. I understand that. It just, I'm very concerned that you took my feces and you had me poop in front of you and it just doesn't seem right. I gotta make sure it's yours. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring in someone else's poop. I know this. I hear about athletes trading urine all the time. I'm not an athlete and this has nothing to do with Apparently, I can see you're not an athlete. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this date is going so well. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> 
Your souffle will destruct in five seconds. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is not the It's adventurous, and I kill a lot of people. You killed your backup, Agent 70. What? That was Agent 70 peeking through me. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> it was an excellent date. <laughs> <laughs> um, December 28th, um, I, did, uh, I, I went on a date with this guy. And I ordered, um, I ordered bruschetta, which I didn't know had bread in it, so... <laughs> <laughs> I had to return it, but it was, um, it was kind of a breakup date, so it didn't matter. I was open about my gluten freeness at that point. But, um, like, I, uh, the date, like, basically this guy, uh, who I will call Kyle, because that's his name. <laughs> I ran into his roommate like a week before, no, actually on Thursday, Thursday before, and his, his roommate was telling me like, he was like super, one of those super dramatic gay guys that was just like, you think you're the only one Kyle has been seeing, and just like, <laughs> like, he just like, you know the type, right, like, like they're just like super like, high strung, like, and I, so, so he was telling me that Kyle has been seeing other guys while he was dating me, and so, and that uh, he didn't want anything serious with me, and so um, I was really like angry, and so, and so I was just like, well, fuck him, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking, you know, you know, lead him on, you know, and like, I don't know, but I, I didn't mean it, you know, I don't know, I'm crazy, I'm a little crazy, and so I was just like, I'll break his heart before he breaks mine, even though it's broken, and, and so, I, I kind of wanted to go on that date and just be like, and, and talk, well, just like, tell him off and just like, you know, tell him that he's a dick and, and that, you know, he's a sociopath and that, and I wanted to like throw a drink in his face and all that stuff and I was like daydreaming about it. But then when I got there, it didn't work, didn't, that didn't happen because, you know, you romanticize things, you know, and then when you get there, they don't, you don't do the, or say the things you know. And so, um, I confronted him about it, and, um, and he denied the whole thing, but I was just like, I don't know, I was frustrated, I was just frustrated, I even started crying, like, in the middle of the day, and I didn't even, and then I ordered a salad, and I didn't, with strawberries on it, with no bread, and I didn't even touch any of it, but then I was just like, I was just, like, I don't know, I sort, of, I, I sort of let him go, which is good, right? I mean, he's, he's obviously a dick, but now I'm just like, now, now I'm just like, I was, as I was driving here, I was just like, I was just like, it's way better this way. <sighs> just breathe, like, like, you know, you wanted to be with him, but he would have hurt you in the long run. And so, um, and so I'm trying to say that in order to move forward. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm trying to not attract uh, crazy guys now, which is pretty hard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Those are some pretty harsh demands you're making, uh, and that would totally change the way that this workplace is run. For the better. Okay. Well, I'm thinking about them. While you're here, though, do you like lotion? Sure, who doesn't love a little bit of lotion? Most of us. It smells really nice. Yeah. It's, uh, is that yeah. aloe? It's uh, aloe. It's uh, a cucumber, melon, honey raisin. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fruits. Yeah, doesn't that it feel nice? It feels really nice. Yeah, the aloe it feels really good. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feel free to pump your own. Or let me pump. <laughs> I still think that uh, we should not have children working here uh, all hours, but uh, this is a good function. That's a, that's a 
worth considering. Yeah, yeah. But you know, if we don't have children working here, we're going to have such nice lotion available to all employees <laughs> to keep them happy and productive. I don't see the, uh, the connection between A and B. This is nice lotion, though. This is very nice. It's probably some of the best lotion you can buy in the yeah. market. I think, I think adults could make this lotion. <laughs> would think wrong. You would be wrong. You are wrong. There's no adult who can make lotion like this. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> Sounds like he's crazy. He's just crazy. Your boss is crazy. A little bit. Yeah. He's a little bit. He's maniacal. He's, he, he has his weird thoughts. Much. So my hands though. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that nice? So yeah, it's really nice. <coughs> but I think he's definitely insane and probably killed some children. <laughs> I have a nice gift nice. box for your wife, Matilda. Okay. Yeah, who I've never nice. met. It's okay. Can I take a look at myself? Sure. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're kidding. No, no, it's <coughs> uh, And then right after that, uh, he actually had a tiger killed. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good reason. I mean, but that's. This is you're squeeze the hand! <laughs> <laughs> uh, honey, um, I was going through our credit card bills and I see that there's a uh, charge for a Motel 8. Mm hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't, I don't remember us going out to a Motel 8. No! Why is that charge on here? Um. Our credit card? Well, it's the mutual one. It's got both of our names yeah. on it here, Cynthia okay. and Stan. Right. Okay. You don't remember both the lights? Sure. Well, there was that one time, that one where we went. All right, baby, uh, I'm on the clock here for an hour. Go ahead. <laughs> you can cry. <laughs> sure, I, I can understand that everybody needs to be held sometimes. That makes sense. But I did also, I found some pictures. Uh, can, you, can you tell me who this is? Um, you look very intimate. In fact, I can't even see your face. You can't see my face, so you don't think that's... All right, now the leather's on, get on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally makes sense. Totally, totally makes sense. Uh, but then I, I also have this tape recording that was mailed to me. Oh? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we record that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the next best thing is for me to confess to you. I'm cheating on you. <laughs> uh, Jim, we've been friends for a long time. Right. Uh, I'll be out through some of the worst parts of my life. I was hoping that you could, uh, you could tell Carol I want a divorce from me. Uh, you want me to tell my sister that you want to be more so? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've been, you've been like Listen, a brother to me. That's not my job. That's your uh, job. You're the one who got into a loveless marriage. She's going to yell and cry and hit me, and I just I don't want to go through that. So you want me to take all the weight off of your shoulders and put them on mine? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I knew you'd understand. No, I don't understand. I'm not uh, doing that. Oh, come on. We haven't had sex in almost 10 don't years. Don't tell me that. Oh. That's a long time. Oh, no. That's <laughs> dried up like the Sahara. Oh, God, don't tell me my sister's dried up. I don't want to think about my sister's pussy. <laughs> I just wow. said dried up. Pussy did not come into the verbiage there at all. Well, you're the one who jumped to that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I just, oh, I just, I want to be free again. I mean, you know, maybe 10 years ago when you started having this problem, maybe you two should have, like, thought about fixing it. I so. did. I just got scared every time I was, I, every time I brought it up, I'd get scared. <laughs> and I changed the subject. What? Uh, beautiful weather out today. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, just, uh, nothing about divorce. And... Yeah, you're right. I got rid of, I systematically, 
I systematically got rid of every knife in our house. <laughs> she hasn't noticed that we cut our steak with spoons. <laughs> She's gotten really good with spoons now. Oh no. Yeah, so, <laughs> so now I gotta get rid of spoons and forks and pointy things, cars, animals, so just it's gotten bad. Maybe you just need to go into the witness protection program. She'd find me. <laughs> she would find me. I tried that once and she found me. <laughs> All right, your name is now Steve. Okay, Steve. Okay, and you are a garbage man. All right, I like that. I'm going to send you to Wichita, Kansas. Okay, that's fine. And... Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh. Why are you at the witness relocation program, honey? <laughs> it's my first day. <laughs> I've been really surprised since you opened on the first door. I know, I know. I should... Check the peephole, identify a password. God, stupid, stupid, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm losing confidence in you very quickly oh. here. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Yes, traumatic, very traumatic. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he killed himself right there in front of me. And, uh, that's, uh, I started an affair with someone who looked just like my wife. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know, I'm going to just baffled by this whole entire <laughs> Yeah, thing. me too, me too. I just... I, I listen, don't you, you don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about Can it. Can we still be close after the divorce? I don't know. I'm like a brother-in-law. No, you won't be, I won't be your brother-in-law anymore. <laughs> I would like the brothers or something. Blood Big brothers. Blood brothers. Blood brothers. brothers. You don't do that after age 14. Oh, shit. I got all my friends after age 14. If we bled together, we were oh, friends. Man. You could be carrying all kinds of diseases. Probably. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, hi. Uh, Hello. This is Death Star. Oh, man. I've been waiting so long. Oh, I had so built up. <laughs> <laughs> like you've been hiding in the desert, and I was going to say a big... Anyway, I built the Death Star. <laughs> Do you want me to be impressed? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I was gonna like kill you and make you disappear. Listen, we were friends a long time ago. Yeah, I know. And then you threw me in the lava. And... I did not throw you in the lava. First of all, that okay. was your own fault. We just shot my legs off. The bad. Okay, that I did. I yeah. Care. Sorry. I got arms. <laughs> I've been living with fucking Jawas for a decade. Yeah, sorry. Man. Um, we both have suffered all because of your yeah, fucking you son. Were, you were a master, and I was a Dude, now... Listen, if you would've just kept your dick in your pants, none of this would've been a problem. <laughs> How'd your confrontation go? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> remember when I wrote down what I was going to say to him? Yeah, she so said that would help you remember you exactly say, what you wanted to say! I didn't say any of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, go with Darth Vader. <laughs> you know I've never understood a fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was engaged for about three days. <laughs> I, um, I took this road trip to Flagstaff with my ex, and, uh, my, my dream was, well, I lived in Flagstaff for two years, and I used to go to this, uh, like, they didn't have a gay bar, but they had a gay night at this one bar called Ladies 80s. Or as everyone called it, ladies gaties. <laughs> and um, you dressed up 80s and you danced to 80s music you can't dance to. And so the song would always come on, uh, that song, Oh, I want to dance with somebody. And whenever that song came on, I always didn't have anyone to dance with. So I was like, OK, I'm going to take, take my boyfriend. We're going to go up there. When the song comes on, we're going to Damn, I'm gonna have someone to dance with to that song. And so when that song came on, he was nowhere to be found, nowhere. And so later that night, I was like upset about about that. But um, then uh, he proposed to me, and uh, which I don't. I said yes, but I don't think it counted because I was an acid. And <laughs> <laughs> if you say yes to someone when you're an acid. Uh, doesn't count, right? <laughs> and, and so we went back, we came back here to Phoenix, and then three days later I found out he was cheating on me with a 
Italian security guard that he met on Adam for Adam. And uh, we, we both went to his DJ night at Friends, uh, now called Zorf's. So if you're wondering what Zorf's is on Indian school, it's a gay bar slash dog park. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how I said I was crazy? Well, um, I like I was devastated by it. Well, like first it was like 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 we're both there, and I was just like I was like um, I saw them kiss behind the DJ podium, and I was like motherfucker. And then like and then I went up I went up to the Italian security guard, which he wasn't wearing security guard clothes, of course. <laughs> and I was just like, how long? Uh, oh, how do you know Jay? And he was like, he was like. Oh, he's my boyfriend. And I was like, well, we're engaged. And it, it was just super dramatic. And so, um, well, oh, the crazy part was like, I, I was like so angry at the, at the fact that he cheated that, like I, I made, I got back with him and I made him dump the Italian security guard and then I dumped him. So I like, but I feel like I saved him. I, I saved the Italian security guard from getting his heart broken, right? And so, anyway, I consider myself like a gay sociopath vigilante because of that. <laughs> <laughs>
Pastor Bruce, perhaps some tea would help your broken heart. Nothing would help my broken heart, Alfred. <laughs> I've been ostracized by another gay man. What happens to me now? Well, Master Bruce, the <laughs> journey really is not about staying on the horse. The journey is about occasionally falling off the horse and getting back up and appreciating the horse for the travels it's taken you on. Are you my horse, Alfred? I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to out and say it. I'm seeing someone else. His name's Clark. He works for the paper. <laughs> Very rugged, good looking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very strong in bed. <laughs> but I have tools. So this is <laughs> How do you know Dave? <laughs> How was your party? Um, it was okay. It, uh, to be honest, it got broken up by the cops. Turned into this awful melee. There was a kid beat up. Um, so. All this at a kid's birthday party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I may have started a riot over non dairy treats not being available at the <laughs> <laughs> I may oh, be a fugitive on the run as well. Oh, you were crazy. I'm bleeding. Oh my God. <laughs> be a lot of people in your life who are going to disappoint you because they don't have dairy-free options. What you have to do is you have to try to go to the places where they will have dairy-free options. I, I only came back to say that I love you and I have to go on the run. No. Was it that bad? <laughs> they, they, they're coming after me. What did you do? Did you murder somebody? I did what I needed to do. To prove that it's not a joke to flaunt chocolate in front of a kid's face who can't have it. No! I you go to one party and you could have a different person. I'm sorry that the lactose intolerance turned you this way. Oh, no! Biology guys! Eli, I can't work at the bakery even if you convert it to a bakery slash puppy mill. Oh, now you're afraid of puppies. Is that how no, Eli does it? I'm not afraid of puppies. You're still talking to yourself in the third person. <laughs> this is still Eli's bakery. Until you take over Eli's bakery, right, right. you've been around puppies your whole life. Your first two years of life we kept you in a kennel. <laughs> because we couldn't afford a crib. And then when we were old, we afforded a crib, but you were too old for it. So we made you stay in the kennel until we could afford a bed. And then we got the bed and we sold the crib, but you slept with a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave a pet store, I'd be okay with that. But the whole bakery slash thing is just not going to work. I can't. Be around bread. I'm anymore. trying to meet you halfway here. I added puppies to the bakery. <laughs> and you're using pronouns. Don't patronize either. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take over this bakery. I raised you. I, the, the, bake, the sign removes and it says, Son of, before Eli. <laughs> and then apostrophe, it's bakery. <laughs> I've been preparing. I just want the best for you. Couldn't it just be Eli's bakery and you get another guy named Eli? Another guy named Eli <laughs> didn't come from a womb that I watched. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're here. I raised you to run this bakery. Not some other guy named Eli running around out there who has his own something to do. Okay, tell you what. I'll run the pet shop, not the puppy mill. I'll make it a pet shop, a legal oven up pet shop. I'll run that side of the store. You can have the bakery. And then when I leave, you will sell all the baked goods. <laughs> <laughs>
support the poor old man. Okay. I want you to carry on this tradition and give the people of this town their bread. Look, I will hire someone to run your half of the store. Hey man, I heard this was a head shop. <laughs> I <did it> wrong. <laughs> you got your <laughs> Okay. There's bread and there's puppies. Why are you getting bong? It's the head shop. The head shop sells bong and other smoking accessories. Who told you this was a head shop? Also, we sell bongs! <laughs> <laughs> I just got more. You got so much good stuff. <laughs> um, so one time I had to, uh, I was uh, really drunk at a gay bar, <coughs> and I couldn't drive home. And so I was, I mean, I, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to the convenience store, get some food, and then I'll come back and, and eat it, and then hopefully wait long enough to, to feel like I can drive home. And so... Um, and so I went to, uh, I was walking down the street to, uh, I forget, 7-Eleven or something. And uh, there was this guy walking in the sidewalk next to me. And, and I mean, not next to me, but he was coming this way. And, and uh, I, he passed me, and then I stopped. And I was like, oh, I should probably lock my car. And so I turned around, and it looked like I was following him. <laughs> <laughs> and now in hindsight, it looked like I was fine. <laughs> and so I went, locked my car, and then I went back, got, uh, I got honey roasted peanuts, I got, um, not I, I got nachos, and uh, I think it was like a milk, like the, with the M's, and, <laughs> and, I, and I went back to the car, and I started, you know, eating, and I was, it was like three in the morning, it was super late, I shouldn't have been out that late, and it was really cold. And I looked to my left, and behind the dumpster was that same guy, and he was jerking off. <laughs> and and I was just like, the eating. <laughs> and, was, and like over here was this guy jerking off, and I was like, I, I have to, like I'm gonna eat, like I'm gonna eat. <laughs> And, was, and I was eating my nachos, and I felt bad, like, and the guy was, like, he was, like, taking breaks. Because <laughs> like, he kept call, trying to call me over, and there was a log, and he would sit on the log, and he would get up. And, like, <laughs> and, and, and it wasn't, like, and it wasn't just nachos, like, like they, they ran out of cheese, so I had, like, the Tostitos cheese. Like, jar. <laughs> being super fatty, and so um, I, I, and then, uh, and then I took a small nap, and then I was like, "Oh, he's still there." <laughs> and then, and so I, I kind, I kind of wanted to be like, "Hey, you know, like I want to be like, do you want some nachos? You know, you seem like the nice guy. He was cute. He was like my age." <laughs> dinner sometime, but anyway, uh, so I, I was like, okay, I need to go, and so uh, I probably shouldn't have driven anyway, but um, I went back out, and then I turned on my lights, and I couldn't help but shine my lights into the back of the dumpster, and he was just like so sad looking, and I was leaving, and he was just like, he, he just held his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, sorry, bye. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> I feel like I should apologize for what you saw me do when I should have been taking your oil. That's <laughs> 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 um, I mean, when you're changing oil, you should really be focusing on the car, yeah. the oil, um, not yourself. It's just that uh, me and my wife have been having some Times and we haven't exactly had a lot of bedroom fun. Um, <laughs> you don't have to breathe to work, you know. Yeah, no, no, I know, it is totally not. I'm your just fault. a chicken move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your car looks like your engine looks so clean, so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of struck. You turn off my engine. Or weird. I mean, an engine is a beautiful thing. I mean, it's not, the engine is like the body of your car. <laughs> I mean, it's a car. It's an automobile. 
feel it. Can you appreciate beauty that's not Sure, I can appreciate <laughs> beauty in, a, in an awesome sort of way, not in a, a, a sexual way. Oh, geez. Like, what? I don't look at a sunset and be like, oh my God, oh, I've got to pleasure myself. No, like, <laughs> So, you know, I, 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 was, I had my engine in front of me, but I was kind of thinking of you. Okay, I don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, that is really weird. Yeah. I, uh, no, I will not. I promise I won't have Jack off when I'm changing your oil. <laughs> uh, but I need you to shit in this. Surely you have the right viscosity. See how my shit is linked to the <laughs> performance. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's just, no. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're familiar with this. <laughs> <coughs> wow, mm. he's been going at it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, awesome. <laughs> we have some really great 
partnerships with some of our local businesses, and Sam, uh, Sam Shane can tell you about that. Uh, yeah, so your ticket stub uh, not only got you into this awesome show tonight, it also gets you 15% off of your entire bill at Maisie's Bistro Cafe right across the street. Or if you want to take it down to HB Handwriting's over on 7th Street in Camelback, get your first Weller wine for $1. Yeah. Great, yeah. Uh, thank you very much to, oh shoot, I don't even know who's in there. Alicia. 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 As our guest this evening, and to all of you fine people for spending part of your Saturday evening with us supporting live theater. Have a great night! Bye. Woo!